Welcome to Lesson 2 from GREMathLessons.com. Hi, and welcome to GRE Math Lessons, the quick and effective way to beat the GRE Math section. GRE Math Lessons is a complete program that builds on previous material. You can find all previous material, including our first lesson, at GREMathLessons.com. Remember, it's very important that you view these videos in order. In addition to our video lessons, we also send out PDF study guides and other helpful resources to the members of our mailing list. If you haven't signed up for the free mailing list, please pause the video and head on over to GREMathLessons.com. Welcome everyone, my name is Greg and I'll be your personal GRE math tutor. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at quantitative comparison questions. While their name makes them sound hard, you can basically think of these as number comparison questions. I'll be showing you a few tricks, like how to answer them without doing any math. All right, let's dive right in and take a look at our sample problem. Quantity A is 3 fourths plus 1 eighth plus 5 ninth. Quantity B is 1 eighth plus 1 half plus 3 fourths. As with all number comparison questions, we are given the following list of possible answers. Quantity A is greater. Quantity B is greater. The two quantities are equal. And the relationship cannot be determined from the given information. Now right now you may be thinking, I need to start adding up these values so that I can calculate them. But if you remember from lesson one, our first goal is always to start eliminating answers as quickly and carefully as possible. With number comparison problems, it's important to remember that if the two columns only contain numbers, the answer will never be the last one. I'll say that one more time. If both columns don't contain any letters or variables, some sort of relationship can always be determined. If we look at our problem, we can instantly tell that the answer definitely won't be the last option. Let's cross it off our list. The next step is to remove like values, values that equal each other. A quick look at quantity A and B, and we see that both contain 1 eighth and 3 fourths. Since these values are the same, we can actually eliminate them from the equation. Once we do that, we are only left with one value on each side. Quantity A has 5 ninths, and quantity B has 1 half. We can now remove the third answer since these are definitely not equal values. By now, the answer should be getting clearer since we only have two values left. Half of 9 would be 4 and a half. Therefore, anything more than that has to be more than half. 5 ninths is more than 1 half we can confidently say that quantity A is greater. Awesome, now you know how to quickly answer basic quantitative comparison questions without even doing any math. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at one of my favorite GRE math tricks. If you want more help with these types of questions, be sure to get the free study guide at GREMathLessons.com. The lesson two study guide contains additional practice questions answers, and explanations. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, please post them below. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe below. This has been a production of GREMathLessons.com.